Joining us now, a BYU defensive back extraordinaire. And oh, and oh by the way, uh, we, we're going to have some legends coming up in just a, about an hour after BYU Sports Nation. So Two we'll hours. Do, two hours, so we'll do that. Two hours, 15 tell minutes. Us, tell us how to see the goods, Jeremy. I will tell you as we uh, hang out with Roberts and Daniel here in a moment. Uh, BYU football, great moments then and now. Leon White. Oh. Dennis Pitta. James Dye. Am I missing anyone that's going to be on that show? It's going to be fantastic. We've talked to all three of those guys on BYU Sports Nation in the yeah, past week. I can't wait. I'm excited f- uh, to look at the past. I love talking about uh, what's going on now and the future, and with that we bring in Roberts and Daniel. I asked you a moment ago, a couple of years ago, did you envision being a part of a media day? And uh, I said, you probably didn't. And you said, yes, I did. It's called confidence. That's, yeah. a, that's what I love about it. You come in here confident. So you envisioned being a part of something big like this a couple of years ago? Yes. As a JC guy? Yeah. If you don't envision it, you're not going to make it to it. So what was that, what was that vision like? What, what are the, uh, I guess, the, the confidence, where does that come from? It wasn't very specific. I just knew I was going to be somebody someday. Awesome. Is this fulfilling your expectations, Media Day, um, on BYU Sports almost. Station? <laughs> 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 almost. <laughs> what, what, okay. what, is, what is left? What is lacking? Um, the next level. The next the level. Yes. Roberts and Daniel on BYU Sports Nation. Listen, you just competed in the Cougar Challenge, and you told us uh, during the break it's the hardest <laughs> thing you've ever done in your life. How You get to the top of the mountain. That's like the pinnacle moment. Then you realize, I have to go, go down. down. Yeah. Oh. How tough was that? that well, I, to be honest, that was the best part. I, just, I was happy it was over. Yeah. But, I mean, once you make it up there, you're like, oh, I can't believe I did this. I mean, you could push your body – so far, you don't even know because there was about five or six times where I thought about, I'm turning around. I don't <laughs> care what mental health is. I'm sure everybody <laughs> thought that. That's so hard. <laughs> I don't, coach, I don't care. Give up. <laughs> Ultimately, did you care? Huh? Oh, yeah, I cared. Yeah, yeah I did. Everyone, you've got to care because uh, it builds trust within your teammates. And, and that's the thing that we – the reaction that we get from this is, hey, we as a team, we did this. Yeah. You did it in teams of three, but ultimately – this is a whole team. What what percentage of the team did it? I imagine many of the linemen, some of the linemen did, but n- maybe I think not it was all of them. Around seventy five players. Wow. Yeah. So a good so, chunk. A good chunk. So examining the past of uh, BYU football, the transition from the Cougar Challenge now to what's going to actually happen on the field after conditioning like that, I feel like BYU every time they have a great secondary, they have a magical season. Nineteen ninety one. Uh, 90, they they beat Miami, the number one team in the country. They had a great secondary. 96, go to the Cotton Bowl, the ranked fifth, had a great secondary. 01, start 12 and 0. You're in the top 10, had a great secondary. I feel like this year, with the guys you bring in and the experience that you bring back with Craig Bills and yourself and some of these guys, that this could be a magical season. How do you feel about the secondary of BYU football? Well, I feel like the statistics you just gave us, you can just add uh, 2014. I to like it. it. But uh, I'm very confident in our secondary. We're we're gonna we're going out to prove ourselves this year, and we're going out there to play for ourselves and no one else. Jordan Johnson joins the crew. He's coming off of an ACL injury. Trent Trammell also coming off injury. Then you bring in a transfer like Harvey Jackson from mm-hmm. Nebraska. What do you expect from the new guys coming in, and how much are they going to contribute? Um, I expect them to just get right on the boat with us. I mean, start working hard like we've been doing. Uh, get focused, hit the film room, and just get ready to have a success- successful season. And all the guys we're bringing in, um, it's only going to help us be better. You go from famine to feast. Last year there were many injuries. So at one point Michael Davis switches from receiver. He's mm-hmm. starting against Notre Dame. Yeah. I believe you were sick that yep. week. Um, Sky Pove, who uh, you know was a safety, he's playing corner. Mike Haig. Um, this year you, you have feast in that you have depth. In fact, mm-hmm. unless you play nickel, one of the aforementioned guys plus Craig Bills might not be on the field, or you might be on the mm-hmm. field playing nickel. How how uh, how different do you think it's going to be in 2014 in the second year because you have all these guys healthy? I think it's going to be really different. I mean, now we could just focus on stopping the run. I'd say we stop giving people respect and we throw all that give them space thing out the window. Let's put eight in the box and let them beat us with man coverage one-on-one. And – we, as a defense, we need to go out there and demand respect, but don't give it, you know, and that's what our depth does. You've been a guy that Coach Nick Howell, the defensive coordinator and a secondary specialist, has had the luxury of, of moving around. You're a very versatile player. 
That said, would you rather play safety or cornerback if you had your option? And that was a question uh, at Justin D. Sweeney asked. Oh, yeah, there you go. Will you start week one at safety or corner? I started at boundary corner. Boundary corner. Do you prefer that? Um, I prefer whatever's going to get us to win, <laughs> to be completely honest with yeah. you. Yeah. You could play me a wide receiver if that's what it's going to do. <laughs> I don't. I don't really care. I just want to win. Are you confident in your pass catching abilities? I'm confident in anything you could do on a football. I field. like that. I like the. I like the attitude that you bring you, in you, here. You're the most, I, I guess, exactly confident person I've met. Where you're, yes, we will do this. This is what we're going to do, and I like that. And you see it on Twitter. Yeah. You see your confidence as well. So this season, you bring you, you bring in a guy, Harvey Jackson, the graduate transfer. Do you expect him to be a starter? At safety this year, or at least um, compete not, right there. That's not for me to say. If he comes in and does all the right thing, I don't see why not. But he's got to come in and be focused and do exactly what we're doing, and the coaches will make that decision. Who is the toughest wide receiver? And I mean, the wide receiver core coming in is really talented and experienced. Uh-huh. When you look at Jordan Leslie and Devon Blackman, who's fast. He just got here. Uh, for the from the guys that you have defended against in practice, who is who is the the guy that's toughest to to cover? I'd say Ross or Mitch. Ross or Mitch. Yeah. Because of the height situation? I don't have a problem with height. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're 6'2", right? Um, I think it's just because I think it has a lot to do with the timing. Taysom has gotten a lot. I mean, he's made a big jump from last season, and his timing with the receivers is phenomenal. So I think it has a lot to do with that. It's not necessarily getting beat because I'm not going to get beat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you about uh, – there's a phrase that uh, Ben Criddle, former uh, cornerback, has coined here, which he says, uh, double minorities. These are important to BYU. Uh, African-American, non-LDS. You're one of these guys who seem to thrive at BYU. <laughs> these these uh, kinds of players are very important to the program, and they seem to be being recruited at a higher level. What, what, uh, what kind of impact can these kinds of players like yourself, JC Transfers, have on the program in the secondary? I mean, we can have a big impact like we've had. Um, I think when you're recruiting players, you don't look at LDS and not LDS. If you look at it that way, you're not going to win as much games as you think. So you just go out and get the best guys that could fit in this environment. Mm-hmm. And I feel like we make a big impact. And I think part of that impact is that BYU just has a hard time recruiting speed uh, yeah. in certain positions. So that's why these JC guys fit. Was that was that uh, something that you saw with BYU that you saw might, where you might be able to make an impact here from a um, JC? Yeah, definitely. And as for speed, uh, we have a whole lot of it this year. We were no, we will no longer be the slow BYU. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't wait till I want the first play against Connecticut to be Jordan Leslie or Devon Blackman just down the field, or just just a quick out screen, wide receiver screen for one of those guys, and then you get one block and you're gone. That or, possibility. And if you're on year, defense, right? a pick six from Rob Daniel. Or we could just start out on kickoff and. Knock the uh, wide receiver, I mean the kick returner out, and just take the ball and walk into the end zone. <laughs> That's also an option. <laughs> I like the quotes yeah. that you're giving us. Right? Let's, let's <laughs> win the you're toss. You're giving us good stuff <laughs> to use for a very long time. <laughs> I thought I was going to the peak. No, no, no. The the Cougar Challenge guy went to the real peak <laughs> and took it to the next. Level. Okay, uh, t- a Twitter question to end from one of our BYU Sports Nation fans for Rob Daniel. Over under on TV announcers saying your name backwards is 25 for the season. <laughs> over, over under that people say Daniel, Daniel Robertson. Robertson. Do you hear that all the time? <laughs> over. Hmm. I'm going over. Uh, over. I'm so going th- over. This uh, is a they, little less than twice a game. I don't even. I don't understand it. It like clearly says Robertson Daniel, <laughs> and you say Daniel Robertson. I, I, we need to. They need to go back to school. Yes, I believe that's Daniel Robertson on yeah. the coverage. No. I want to call you Bob Daniel. Oh, Bob. <laughs> that, just, that just make it better for me. Bobby, Bobby Daniel. Bob. What, a, what a play by Bobby Daniel. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's going to happen I, sometime I think in we, the future. I think we – Bob Daniel. <laughs> Bob Daniel. Hey, great to have you with us, man. Good yep. luck in the approaching season. It's been fun. It's good to be here. Thanks good luck, Bobby. Me. Yep. <laughs> what the heck, Bobby? <laughs> <laughs>